When Sarah Catlett was diagnosed with breast cancer in August of 2020, it was caught by chance. She was feeding her horses when one accidentally knocked her to the ground. Her husband rushed her to the hospital. Nothing was broken, everything was fine, but <clears throat> in the process of doing the x-rays and going through that process, it kind of led me to believe that, you know, maybe I better have a checkup and take things further. It wasn't long before scan showed something in her right breast. A biopsy confirmed it was cancer. And so I'm thinking, okay, I have this. What do I do? How do I process it? How do I get through it? So we just, they rush you through the steps. So you really don't have a lot of time to think about it. To complicate matters, Sarah initially thought the cancer had spread to only three lymph nodes. Turns out it was 18. I think I was numb at that point. Um, I don't really believe I knew the repercussions. I knew I know my doctors were very concerned. Sarah decided her best chance at survival was under the care of Dr. Kenneth Lee at Orlando Health. He fights cancer on two fronts. First, save lives by removing cancerous lymph nodes. Second, give quality of life. The problem? When lymph nodes are removed, it can cause fluid buildup in the tissue called lymphedema. Up to 30% of breast cancer patients suffer from it. It's painful and it makes it hard to move. And when he brought that up, I knew that that was, that was the way I had to go. I'm very active, you know, I'm on horses a lot. I use my muscles, I use my arms. The most common thing that we deal with is arm swelling related to breast cancer therapy. The Orlando Health Cancer Institute helped to partly pioneer a new procedure called LIMPHA. Which basically stands for Lymphatic Microsurgical Preventive Approach. Before this pioneering surgery, doctors would simply cut out the lymph nodes, which could lead to lymphedema. Now they clip the lymph nodes and use microscopes to help connect the lymphatic channels back to veins. That allows the body to properly drain fluid. That is a one hour procedure. Then at the same time as your lymph node dissection, no additional incisions, and there's very little downside to doing that operation. It's miraculous and it's amazing. It's, you, you are left wondering how in the world do they do this? As a busy mom and grandma, Sarah is back to enjoying her active life in Southwest Florida. She says the more than three hour drive to Orlando to find Dr. Lee was well worth it. It was very well worth the drive. I would, I would do it a hundred times because it was just, it was the right thing to do. Amy Caulfield, Fox 35 News.